And then you would walk out the door into that glorious sunlight. It would be like Mel Gibson and Braveheart. It would just be like, freedom! And then you, you, you just want to start singing, summer, summer, summertime! In what world are we going to get a Braveheart reference in this episode? I mean, that's fantastic. Like, <laughs> I can talk about hearing him with that memory and then seeing Mel Gibson in my mind with that flowing hair and the face yeah. paint. And like, I, I mean, it's just like I'm there on the grass fields with him in that moment. <laughs> I got suspended on that last, base, so basically the last week of school. So the important question is, did you win the fight? I will go on record and saying I was watching a lot of WWE at the time, <laughs> and it was more of like he speared me and I tried to DDT him, <laughs> and then we were, then it was broken up. In your mind, you're doing a DDT. His mind, he's doing a Goldberg spear. <laughs> but in reality, it just kind of looks like you're awkwardly hugging each other, probably. Yes, <laughs> definitely. It but, did not look cool at all. <laughs> and I remember thinking, this is going to be on my record forever. Um, um, did I just ruin, <laughs> talking about summer, did I just ruin my summer? Yeah. Crazy. The, the crazy record. Stuff. I remember the record, too. They're yeah. like, it's going to be your permanent file, your, your permanent per record. <laughs> you can't take it back. This will go to the grave with you. <laughs> Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. I had some of my funnest sum summer memories in that pool. The smell of chlorine, like the smell of a chemical that'll kill you. <laughs> brings comfort to me <laughs> like that when i go to a hotel and i smell chlorine um even when i'm cleaning and i use too much bleach i'm just like oh it smells like summer but it just smells like a pool i'm weird you were huffing the wrong things <laughs> at a young it's all making sense i hate indoor pools i hate the wetness of the floor it's like the bathroom scene from um tra planes trains and automobiles mm -hmm. is what i the pool is to me and the yeah. floor. That smell just made my nose curl up and ruined everything. <laughs> Thinking of the last days of school, there's one thing that really just pops into mind. And I'm thinking, of course, of uh, field day, which we always had a couple of days before the end of school. One of my coolest and fondest memories of um, the field day was our principal. His name, and I'm not making this up, I'm not being mean. His oh, principal boy. was Mr. <laughs> Boring. You would think if you're going into education, you would change your name. <laughs> uh, if you're going into life, you should change your name. <laughs> he would get into a dunk tank and let the elementary school kids throw the balls to knock him into the dunk tank. And he probably, I mean, I would assume was dunked on that field day hundreds upon hundreds of times. And I thought that that was the coolest thing ever, that the leader of our school was willing to have fun with us like that. But yeah, Mr. Boring, um, at least on that day, not so boring. <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. Hello there, fellow bygone geekers. It's Trevor here. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to call in and read some of the shorter notes left in my yearbook. Hey, Trevor. One, you suck. Two, quit stalking me already. Haha, <laughs> JK. No, really, this year has been fun in math class and stuff. Yeah, stay cool and all. Oh, and three, DBZ sucks too. No, it doesn't. That's a lie. <laughs> when you go back and open these things up and look at these messages, it definitely just shows you a true locked in time of your life yes. and what you are into and what you might still be into now. Like, I think it was referenced Dragon Ball Z. Like, you know, that's something that I, I'm pretty sure he's definitely still into. Um, and a lot of people are what they liked in high school. Um, but I just love that random assortment of messages from people. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. There were pages where I turn and would put an X to someone's name. So what would that be? Oh, our relationship, it's complicated. Yeah. Uh, then you totally black them out with a marker relationship status it's over you know what i mean like that was our way of social media right there showing how we were to these people and it does make you curious it's just like am i in somebody's yearbook 
that I was dating at the time and that I am this blacked out, <laughs> you know, face. <laughs> yep. I think everybody in somebody else's yearbook is the blacked out X'd, X'd out face that ha- you can see the pirates, you know, uh, eye patch underneath of it, the tooth, <laughs> the horns, uh, everything under the sun. It if, is. If I'm not, I am now. The people are like, I remember that. <laughs> I'm going to scribble them out right now. <laughs>